and welcome to Star Citizen, the Invictus Launch Week, which is an annual military parade inside the Star Citizen universe, started on the 21st of May, bringing a couple of events with it, one of which is an interior tour of a Javelin class destroyer, which we will visit today. Don't expect this video to be a cinematic masterpiece or something of that sort. It's simply a slow paced walk through the Javelin's corridors with the occasional stop to hear out some NPCs because they have something to tell about their stations that they're working at. Also today on the 22nd of May, Star Citizen will be free to play until the 3rd of June. So if you want to play, all you need to do is to create an account on the RSI website, download the game and get going. If you do, make sure to use my raffle link in the description to start off with an extra 5000 AUEC, the currency of the game. Now enjoy the video and get to know the UEES Warhammer. Welcome aboard the UEES Warhammer. As part of this year's Invictus celebrations, I'd like to invite you to take a look around and get an up-close look at an active military vessel. Some of the actual crew members have graciously volunteered their time to explain what life is like aboard the ship. I would like to remind you that the entire ship is not available for exploration, so please be respectful of unauthorized areas. Thank you, and enjoy your visit. All right, let's settle down. My name's Lieutenant Commander Alderman. I run the turret complement aboard the Warhammer. That means I'm in charge of coordinating fire between our various gunners during a combat engagement in order to maximize combat effectiveness. But when we aren't in combat, I strive to keep my team sharp by running through engagement drills and simulated encounters. Now, the Javelin comes standard with 15 turrets. 13 of which have embedded operators. There are six turrets like the one you see here that run along the side of the ship, each of which is equipped with a pair of size seven cannons for larger targets and a pair of size four Gatlings for smaller targets like fighters and even incoming missiles and torpedoes. We've got four more turrets on the bow of the ship, armed with size seven energy cannons and three gunners on the underside with the same. All this firepower is coupled with a heavy payload of ordnance to make the Warhammer a real problem for all sizes of ship. Hence why we can be tasked to operate independently on patrols without support from the rest of the battle group. During the Xeno threat incursion, our gunners were responsible for the destruction of over 70 hostile elements and several capital ships, as well as protecting the ship from incoming ordnance. As a special treat, we've safety this turret so you get a taste of what it feels like to be a gunner. All the weapons have been deactivated, so don't worry about accidental discharge. But I'll remind you this is an active military vessel, so be respectful all the same. Thank you, and have a great Invictus. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green.
Hi folks, welcome to the Warhammer. I am leading Starman Detmer, and this, as you've probably guessed, is one of the two barracks on the ship. And I know, I know, you must be thrilled to see where Navy personnel sleep, and let me be the first to tell you, it's every bit as exciting as promised. Javelins are pretty great when it comes to sleeping arrangements, as they have enough bunks for the full crew, which is amazing because it avoids situations known as hot bunking, where you swap out bunks with somebody on the opposite shift, and that is horrible. Uh, this one time on my old ship, I had to share with this guy who had just the worst smelling socks. Um, and I'm talking, you know, the military could have weaponized it kind of bad. And I had to try and fall asleep with that every day. So, uh, yeah, after that, these bunks are a, a dream. <laughs> And I'm just thinking that uh, actually I don't think my CEO would like me talking about how bad hot bunking is. So maybe just forget I said anything. Uh, anyway, uh, each one has special slots for personal effects um, and is capable of sealing you up to give you a little privacy. So people are always moving around the barracks. Sleeping schedules shift slightly too, so they can activate the full crew at a moment's notice if the ship enters heavy combat, you know. So you, you're kind of always sleeping with one eye open. I mean, we get short sleep schedules if we are patrolling dangerous space, so... I mean, you're already grabbing sleep when you can, and... Sorry, I am rambling. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you. This is where we sleep. Not a whole lot of mystery to it. But I hope this has been enlightening. Please have a look around if you like, but don't touch anything in the bunks, as this is an active ship and everything in here is the property of the crew. So, be cool. Hello everyone, my name's Lieutenant Horrigan, and as you can probably tell, this is Warhammer's Mess Hall. Definitely one of the more popular spaces on the ship. The mess has a fully automated dispensary since we operate on rotating shifts. We have a standard crew complement of 65 to 70, and meals need to be available at all times, so we have a culinary team always on duty, ready to lend support. Famous pilot Ari O'Reilly was once quoted as saying, if you ever want to take the temperature of a ship's crew, spend 20 minutes in their mess. Now this is one of the main social areas of the ships where crew members from different departments can catch up in their own downtime. We also use the mess for social events like uh, birthdays, holidays, and promotions, since it's able to hold so many people. Our skipper, Captain Medcalf, is a big believer in, in casual gatherings. It's in an effort to entrench camaraderie. So we're in here pretty often. Now, you've probably noticed our games in the corner, so I'll just address the question that everyone asks. <clears throat> yes, it's pretty competitive. The XO currently has the score to beat. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to have a look around.
welcome to the UEES Warhammer. This Javelin class destroyer was originally built by Aegis Dynamics and has been in active service since 2832. Launching under the command of Captain Omar Singh, the ship initially served as a combat support vessel in the Second Fleet, Sixth Battle Group, a posting that put it close to the Van Duel front. The Warhammer saw action during the fall of Caliban in 2884, where it protected retreating civilian and naval forces when the system ultimately fell, earning a ribbon for valor in the process. For the next several decades, the Warhammer transitioned between fleets in a variety of support and patrol positions, even participating in the UEE push to reclaim the Nexus system in the 2930s. Most recently, the Warhammer distinguished itself as the primary combat vessel to repel the outlaw group known as Xenothreat from the Stanton system. Since then, the Warhammer has been placed in dry dock for repairs, but is heading back to active service once this year's Invictus festivities are concluded. The room you're currently seated in is the main briefing room for the entire ship. Based around a hollow volume built by Microtech, the crew gathers here to discuss everything from battle strategies to repair schedules. The marine detail assigned to this ship also uses this room to plan out their boarding actions or outline combat strategies. This room is even acted as a venue for off-duty activities, such as vid screenings or sporting event parties. We hope that you'll take the opportunity to explore the ship and get an up-close look at one of the vanguards of order. On behalf of Captain Metcalf and the rest of the crew, I want to wish you a fantastic Invictus. I hope we see you next year. Javelin class destroyer was originally built by Aegis Dynamics and has been in active service since 2832. Launching under the command of Captain Omar Singh. Hello, welcome to the UEES Warhammer. This 
Javelin class destroyer was originally built by Aegis Dynamics and has been in active service since 2832. Launching under the command of Captain Omar Singh, the ship has been Thanks to everyone who came out to support this year's Invictus, but the UEES Warhammer is now closed for tours.